Greetings everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. Today it is time for the long overdue update video on this bad boy, the Fleur by Ballyfleur. Before we get into the video, full transparency, Ballyfleur did send this thing over for free for the purpose of the videos that I've created on it thus far, but any and all opinions are my own and I'm not financially affiliated with Ballyfleur in any way, shape, or form. Great, great, cool, standard stuff, you guys get it. So how has my approximate two weeks as I'm recording this with the Ballyfleur been? It's been pretty good, but um, ultimately uneventful from what I originally thought on this thing. I think most of my thoughts are about the same as they were when I unboxed this thing. It is a light flipper with a very good balance and a price to match. I think if this thing was much more expensive, I wouldn't be so hot on it. But considering that it comes in almost $20 cheaper than most of the competitors, things like the Calico, things like the Squiddy, Squiddy B, um, even the Diode, if you fully customize it, is $10 more than this thing. Uh, it's an impressive flipper. So in case you don't know what the Fleur is, it is a 3D printed Balasong from Ballyfleur coming in at 1.7 ounces on washers. Uh, coming in at a price of $35 US. And in my opinion, it flips quite well. Now I'm gonna get my complaints out of the way because I think there's two major ones that I want to discuss. Um, one of them being theoretical because I wasn't able to test it, but I think my biggest problem with this thing would be worrying about the durability because in the two weeks that I've spent it, it's become a very rattly flipper. Granted, I don't have this thing as tight as I probably should, but even after tightening it on stream one time when I was tuning some of my ballast songs, it still felt pretty rattly. So I do wonder, just based on its overall weight and what it's made out of, which I don't know, it's not listed on his website as far as I can tell, um, I would be concerned about this thing holding up against harder floor drops, especially concrete. Um, but to be fair to it, you shouldn't really be buying a plastic balisong to be a concrete beater anyway, which is something that I have realized fully since Blade Show, because plastic really is meant to be flipped over softer ground, unless you're getting one that's very specially made, like the Squiddy B, maybe even the Cycloid HD, something like that. Um, but this thing, I don't think is going to win any durability awards, so while it would be a great public flipper, you might have to be over some less solid ground than uh, than you would with any other ballast song that you might get as a public flipper. And complaint number two is just the overall weight of it, um, but also the balance. I find that this thing lags pretty heavily in fans, uh, sp especially choker fans, which we'll get into when I talk about the balance a little bit more, but just keep that in mind. That's probably my biggest problem with this thing, even though it is a smaller problem, but also just the overall weight. This thing is exceptionally light. It feels light. It feels rather unsubstantial. So if you're looking to get a plastic ballast on something like that's going to feel like it has heft to it, most of the other plastic ballast songs are going to destroy this for much more expensive. So my two weeks with the Fleur, what did I think? I think it's good. You might hear me say the things that I've said about it already and go, oh, he doesn't like it. I actually quite like it, especially for $35. If you look at the competition that exists, sure, there's something like the Nabali's Lightning, but in plastic specifically, really the only thing that this thing is going up against is stuff on Etsy, like the Cubed Industries or whatever that one was called that Will and Brandon really liked. Or you have the diode from Zippy, which ranges from $30 to $45, depending on how much that you customize it with. And I think the diode still exists. You know, there's a chance the diode doesn't exist anymore, and the next sentence is going to be completely obsolete. But I think this thing handily beats all of those. I wasn't a huge fan of the diode, um, and I'm definitely not a huge fan of some of the 3D printed stuff on Etsy. I think the... Fleur destroys them handedly. The balance feels quite neutral. Um, it's very light, so even though it doesn't carry a ton of momentum, because these end of the handles, the end of the handles are very light. You're not getting a ton of momentum from them anyway. 
but considering the overall weight of the balisong, that doesn't really matter too much because it's extremely easy to generate momentum on the fleur, which is great. So you don't really notice the fact that the end of the handles are rather lacking in terms of a hot spot or any weight to help carry momentum because quite frankly it doesn't need it because you can generate a lot of momentum. I would like it to carry more momentum. It would be nice to be able to use momentum that you've generated or that the balisong is maintaining instead of having to, you know, start over from scratch with every new trick that you do. But again, it's light, it's easy, it's not that big of a deal. And while I'm talking about the weight, it's an extremely effortless flipper. You can flip this thing kind of anywhere, sitting down, standing up at my desk, whatever. It's been great to just kind of mess around with. Again, you can't be over like a hard surface because I do wonder if this blade, considering how thin it is, would snap relatively easily, especially with how much flex is there when I just bend it with my hands. But it's a very, very fun flipper. Rollovers are sticky. Chaplains are very sticky. Zero Gs are sticky. It doesn't feel like it wants to get away from you. Granted, it's very light, so it doesn't really have much else to go. It will still spin out on you because there isn't a ton of end weight, but you would have to flip it, I think, far faster than people would really care about for it to have non-sticky chaplains. My biggest complaint is the fanning performance on this thing. Because my guess is that there's more weight in the blade than there are at the end of the handles, the fanning performance suffers quite a bit. It As soon as you fan it, it just feels sluggish. It feels like... Feels like it lags a little bit, both getting into fans and maintaining fans. And especially choker fans will just run out exceptionally quickly. Um, it will just stop choker fanning way earlier than I'm used to on pretty much any other balisong that I have been flipping lately. So the fanning performance is a hit. Uh, it takes a hit in the fanning performance, but considering how well everything else feels on this thing and how neutral overall that it feels with very few hot spots i would say it's maybe not the greatest situation but it's a hit that i'm willing to take for a ballast song that is this cheap and flips this good so if you're someone who can get over the fact that a ballast song doesn't feel very substantial because this thing really doesn't if you compare it to any other plastic ballast song it just feels less dense more airy um, it makes the palette feel heavy, quite frankly, like flipping the palette right now. It feels extraordinarily dense. Um, but if you're willing to get past that, I think the balance is enjoyable to say the least because it, it has a lot of tip weight and I'm a fan of tip weight. It's just unfortunate that that tip weight doesn't really help in the fanning department that much. Um, again, specifically those choker fans combined with these more blocky handles, it's not doing it any favors. Um, but the Fleur overall, a fun, fun flipper. If you can get over the lightweight, it is an enjoyable experience. The balance is really something that I would love to see on a more scaled up model that has a little bit more weight, a little bit more heft, a little bit more momentum to it because I really, really do enjoy the balance. If we get just a tiny bit more weight on the end of the handles and then increase that weight a bit, I think it would be a really phenomenal plastic balisong. But as it stands right now, it is a fun flipper to add to your collection for 35 bucks. And while I don't recommend it above most other plastic balisongs in the market right now, for the price, if that's all you can afford, I think it's probably one of the best that I've personally felt. So, I'm a fan. Um probably not a ballast song that I will pick up that often um, but it's one that I still enjoy just to be completely honest with you so that's been my two weeks with the Fleur I enjoy it it's not, again it's not the craziest thing that it's, I've ever tried but I don't think it means to be because of the price because of the build um, yeah so I think it succeeds at what it's going for with a balance that really surprised me and one that I will probably come back to ever, every so often uh, throughout my collection. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much to Bally Fleur for sending me one of these things out to check out. I've enjoyed my time with it, and I hope to continue enjoying my time with it in the future. 
um, because yeah, it's just fun. It is, it is really fun. And it responds incredibly well for how light it is. That is, that is one thing that I will give it credit for at the end here. I know I said it doesn't carry a ton of momentum, but considering how light this thing is, it does respond really, really well to the tricks that you want to do with it. It doesn't make you feel like it's missing anything balance-wise, because I honestly don't think it is. It's just that overall heft that you end up missing, or that I personally end up missing when I'm flipping this thing. So yeah, overall, really solid ballot song. Thank you again to Ballyfleur for sending this thing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.